The role of public art must be simultaneous and multifaceted. It must be something that asks and renders communities connected. It must provide bridges. It also must speak truth to power because in a multicultural society, representation is a very difficult medium to be discoursing in. So prior to my arrival to Providence to paint for the piece, I had obviously developed many different mock-ups. Um, I wanted to use as a point of departure the notion of erasure, the concept of erasure, because then that brings up other questions regarding whose history is preserved, whose isn't. When we got here, we understood what we needed to do in order to capture the ultimate composition, and that entailed a kind of permission-seeking from the Tomaquag Museum and Lindsay herself and then got to photographing Lindsay once she felt comfortable. I, um, I, I wanted to have her presenting a piece of legacy, almost like a document, if you will. So you have a living person, um, an active individual, holding legacy and tradition you know, as a way of promoting the fact that people still exist and are amongst us. Indigenous First Nation peoples are active members of our society and are pushing for substantial human rights and environmental awareness. So it's important to, to push this notion of still here. The entire process is developing all the conceptual arrangements for the composition, inserting them in Photoshop, making it all come together, then going on site in the evening or the night, reducing as much light as possible, and then go up with spray paint and trace it all out in the night. Come back the following morning, and I had my brilliant assistant, David Cogdill, fill in everything over the course of a week. He knows how I work, and he knows what kind of colors I need to go where, and then I begin to fill in the detail and bring out all the depth and all of the other color and all of the light and everything with spray paint. So I usually create a pyramid of paint stacked on top of each other around me so I have a whole menu of my color to work from to create all the skin tones and everything. And I will lay down any house paint and then come and clean up the edges. It's amazing the difference between a messy painted thing and something that just has a spray outline around it. It's just tightens it all up. It's such a blessing to be able to be on that wall and yeah, just have the opportunity, so many thousands of dollars behind you, so many, so many hours of, of thought and conversation behind it, so much organization, so many logistical issues. But it's also very, very stressful. It has a lot of things to be challenged, a lot of fears to be overcome. There's the future and past self that's like, that's such a dope wall, I need to hit that shit. The ability to paint realistically is magical. And so it's nice to possess a little bit of magic.